Today we're going to be working in Illustrator to create some different shape forms. So here I am in Illustrator. Um, I want to point out some of the tools that we've got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can draw shapes in Illustrator, how we can modify those shapes, and how we can use things that we find online in the work that we're doing here. So Illustrator is a vector program. I'm going to start here with the, the shape tools here. And uh, what's neat about Illustrator, if you go all the way to the right hand side, you can pull off a whole series of shapes um, into a different part of the document there. So I've got circles, squares, stars. Let me go ahead and draw a rectangle in here. Right now I know that this rectangle has a white fill and a black stroke. The properties panel, this is Illustrator 2021, the properties panel is going to give me all the information about this shape. So if there's other things that I want to do to it, like increase the stroke or change the color, I can do that right in there in the properties panel. So other shapes, um, you got a rounded rectangle. Um, actually, let me go back into the shape here. Um, the rectangle has these little points. Sometimes shapes will have different points here that you can kind of modify and adjust the shape in that way. Those are kind of neat. The star, this is a popular technique. Before I let go, as I'm drawing the star, I can use the arrows on the keyboard to add or subtract points onto the star. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to adjust the shape of this rectangle to, you know, include this star at the top up here, right? Let's say I wanted to include the star like that. All right, so that would be using what's called the Pathfinder panel. So I'm going to go to the Window menu, and I'm going to go down to my Pathfinder panel. In the Pathfinder panel, I have options like Add. So let me click on the star first, hold Shift, click on the rectangle. I want to add these two shapes together. Now they've been added together. If I wanted to subtract from this shape, let me draw another rectangle here. Let's say I take this shape, hold Shift, select this shape. I'm going to subtract from the shape. You've got other options in here, too. You can the intersection or um, Here's like, you know, remove the intersection. We've got different options in there that you can choose from as well. So that's kind of editing and changing the shape. Let's go back. Um, let's go back several steps. I want to go back to this right here. All right, other things that I can do with the shape. All shapes are made up of points and paths. Everything in Illustrator is made up of points and paths. So if I click on this shape, right, you can see that the path is made up and the points kind of end up being in the different areas there. Um, this is a selection tool. When I click on it, it selects the whole thing. This guy is what's called a direct selection tool. So while it's still selected, I can move it and it picks up the whole thing. But with the direct selection, I could pick up individual points and edit and modify them as well. So this will allow you to kind of create Create your own custom shapes in this way, right? You can kind of move shapes over and you can edit and kind of change the shape like that. So selection, direct selection, adding shapes together, subtracting shapes together. Let's go into text. I'm going to go into my type tool. Let's say I type something like design, the word design. Let me go and highlight that. Um, so properties panel, here is the different font styles. I want to pick something nice and fat so it's easy to use. Okay, basic. Here is the size of the text. I can make the text lar larger. It's all happening in that properties panel. I could go into the character panel, right? Window, the character panel looks like... I'm sorry, it's under, it's, a, it's included with type and the character panel, and that would bring up the same bit, right? So see how the character panel looks just like the properties panel. But what I wanted to show you here with this type, right, is that text is always, um, text is always can combine together. And it, unlike Photoshop, when you change the size of something in Illustrator, if you don't hold shift on the keyboard, it will unconstrained purport to keep proportions constrained. You have to hold shift on the keyboard to make sure you're not, uh, you know, adjusting or editing it in an odd way. So in Illustrator, when we use text, this is a vector. If I want to edit this text and move into individual letters and edit individual letters, then I would go to the type menu and I would choose create outlines. Now, all of these different panels and menu items I'm going to, they they should pop up in the properties panel because the, there it is, create outlines from the text. So now this text, these words, I'm going to grab my direct selection arrow. I'm going to click behind, anywhere in the background. Command shift A is the deselect as well. And now I can go and pick up individual letters and I can really start to edit them. I can change the size on them. I can really go in and start to edit and change this text in an interesting way, right, to start creating logos or monograms, however I want to I create here, right? Now, and now that I've also separated them, I could pick up individual points and edit those as well, right? Individual points on the path. So there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do in there. 
Now, I'm not covering the pen tool right now, but I did want to show you. I do have, I'm going to place, not open, because that would open up a new document. I'm going to place this image that I just found right here of this computer mouse. I'm going to click on it um, because you can use images, simple images that you find on the in, uh, internet here in Illustrator. And I'm going to show you how. Let me close those guys right there. So properties panel, right? See, I've got this image. I want to image trace it. There's different options. Um, mine's simple black and white color, so I'm going to click this black and white logo. Logo, you can always go back and edit it and change it. I've now image traced this, um, which means that I've turned it from a raster image with pixels in it that I found on the internet to a vector based image that I can now edit just like any other shape in Illustrator. The only problem is after I image trace, I also have to expand. Once you expand it, now it is completely editable. So I can go in, I can grab the white part and delete it. And you can see that I've got that whole mouse in there that I can there edit and change. I can change the colors in it. I can pick up individual points. I can kind of do all kind of oops, pick up individual points and I can go in and edit and change it however I'd like. All right, that's just an editing shapes and fun things that you can do with simple vectors in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.